27 storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. So even though I was born in Wisconsin, I didn't know that we had flying squirrels. Two northern flying squirrels uh, Cameron was able to capture here enjoying the sunshine today in Fitchburg. Most of uh, their habitat range is actually farther north, but strictly nocturnal. So uh, maybe they were just up trying to enjoy the sunshine today before we become more cloudy. Uh, but folks were letting me know that they make some very interesting noises and they're kind of annoying, but I think they're cute. Again, I just, I'm, I had no idea that they were here, but hopefully they were able to enjoy the sunshine before the clouds move in. And now that rain is beginning to move in as well. Green showing up on the satellite and radar, not necessarily reaching the ground, uh, at least in Dane County, but further north and west, maybe as we're seeing more darker greens popping up around Richland Center, Richland County, into Lafayette County, Iowa County as well, and then into Sauk County. Beginning to see some lightning being picked up there, uh, just beginning to cross over into Grant County. So we're beginning to see this system kind of become more uh, strong as it's moving off the Rockies. That low pressure center somewhere in this general area, but you can see where the snow is. We have some thunder snow off into parts of southern Minnesota, and we'll have that chance here as the system moves on through. But our chance won't come until later tonight once that center is a little bit closer to being overhead. Current temperatures, low 40s to mid 40s, not too bad. Winds are breezy out of the southeast, and even though we had plenty of sunshine today, our temperatures weren't that much different than yesterday. Maybe a few degrees warmer, but generally speaking, a very similar day temperature-wise to yesterday. The difference now is we're going to watch as those clouds move in and our rain chances pick up, or snow chances, depending on where you live. So I would say in this general area, kind of this lighter white to light blue, this is going to be where that freezing line sets up. So in the light white here, stretching from really north of Milwaukee back into uh, Crawford County, zero to maybe a trace amount of snow, and that's going to be early. Farther north, temperatures are going to stay cooler, so we'll have that better chance for more snow. And of course, Juneau, Adams County, as well as much of northern Wisconsin underneath that winter weather advisory. So that's where we're expecting not only more windy conditions, but also the better chance for not only snow, but higher accumulations as well. However, we can't rule out some folks picking up around two inches of snow here in the light blue, so that's just outside of the Dells northwards, and then here in this middle shade blue up to an inch to three inches of snow dark blue some folks are uh, possibly going to pick up upwards of four inches of uh, snow by the time this all wraps up further south we're warmer, so we're going to see more of that rain, but the rain totals aren't going to be too excessive. Maybe a half an inch to uh, an inch at best, not expecting much in the way of flooding being a concern, but along that freezing line and especially farther south, we have that chance to hear a few rumbles of thunder, maybe even see some flashes of lightning. Again, that general thunderstorm threat, including much of the 27 news coverage area. And again, where we start to see more of that higher accumulation snow possibility, that chance for thunderstorm uh, cut off. And again, we're tracking uh, more lightning, so probably better chance for thunderstorms over in northern Illinois, but that's not to say that maybe one or two lightning strikes won't be picked up here across southern Wisconsin. So what do you need to keep on your radar? Other than tonight, next Thursday through Saturday, you'll see here in the full forecast that is when our next big organized system is going to move on through. That one could bring us either accumulating snow, uh, heavy rain turning over to snow, strong winds. So that's what you need to keep on your radar. We'll hang out in the 40s tomorrow and Tuesday, maybe then again on Thursday, but then we're cooling down as we go into next weekend. Yeah. So hopefully you were able to get outside and enjoy today. Hey, those squirrels bit. did. Those squirrels did. Were you out with the squirrels? I, no, Theoretically, I was gagged that they live here. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, you you learned now, something new today. I did, and their now last you know. little like um, scientific name is Sabrina's. Oh, like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Interesting. Be, Does that have told, any tie to the squirrels? You know, we're being told to rap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a busy Sunday.